Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new logo design tutorial and today I'll show you this type of logo that means the text logo but neon effects and with a stretch in a, like a, like that that means a, like Netflix type typography so let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications going to the file at first taking new options here and artboard options and 2000 pixel and 2000 pixel RGB color mode if you want to go to print you can take the CMYK and after that hit the create button and then going to the text tool at first and writing some text increasing the text size suppose 200 okay that's fine choose a font like this so any kind of font you can choose making it all caps that's fine and now making into middle of the artboard that's fine so if you want to get all the stuffs that means the settings of the workplace like me here the essential classic just press this one or tick or select this one or uh, in case you already selected the essential classic but you are not getting the same like me you have to get, go to the reset the essential classic and one another thing is that go to the view options from here is smart guide and snap to point is selected otherwise all the thing is deselect okay selecting this text and going to the objects and going to the envelope distor making the verb okay here lots of things from here i'm going to the arch lower and making this one around 10 percent yeah here the preview mode you can open or you can make it 15 so it's totally up to you preview mode okay that's good and all the stops are zero and hit okay okay now going to a rectangle tool like this so making the rectangle color like blue uh, you can change it uh, into dark blue that's fine and hit okay and again going to the uh, objects and going to the distor or uh, here envelope distors and making it wrap and same position and same settings and hit okay okay after that we'll select all the stops and we can make this one uh, into downside of the layer that's good and i'll change the color of the text all the text is selected and making it white at first and then we'll position this one accordingly yeah that's fine that's a good position for us all the steps i'll select at first and then going to object and going to the expand and hit okay all the thing is now in a shape portion that's good and now i'll make the middle of this yeah that's fine good alignment and now time to add some uh, like gradient and other stuffs so here we'll add stroke from here stroke thickness like uh, 20 that's good going to the object again and going to the expand and hit okay so this uh, stroke will be shape convert into the shape now okay now we can use this one so the gradient at first going to the gradient options from this portion and making it 90 degree so after that i'll remove or reverse this one after that here i'll go this color and i'll press here the, this color uh, yeah that is the good color okay and this one i'll make uh, this one ungroup right press and ungroup this one so this one is two object actually one is the border this one and i from the P keyboard and g for the keyboard uh, or gradient uh, adjustment that's good and the background i'll go to more darker background like this so good and now here i'll uh, select uh, the other stuffs so here ctrl c and ctrl f i made another copy of this so selecting two things that means two things uh, like uh, the first and second text and after that going to the pen tool and select over here and in the middle i'll select like this from here actually i'll make this one or here yeah i made the circle 
little bit circle like this and here so now time to use this one as a like um, this thing into cut from the other one so here shift m select all the stuffs and shift m delete this portion this portion so this this portion we made another layer like that so already made this one here is two you can keep one of that okay you are getting all the things in the proper way making it group and you can put this one over here so this one is our logo you can put another background into the artboard it could be the darker blue like this and hit ok and sending it to the back layer and this logo and making into middle of the artboard so you're getting the logo properly in this way so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and in the next video i'm asmr signing out stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers bye bye